Hi everyone, I am Priyanka Jain. I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. And here is a very big news for all of you. Soon we are starting new batch courses. Okay, one of my batch course is starting for the revision of inorganic chemistry. If you are preparing for CSIR net, you will know that there is an exam on 29th of January. Okay, so there are two months left. So we have decided to launch a new batch course full revision course of the inorganic chemistry here we will see full revision with the pyqs okay previous year questions we will solve the questions we will see quick revision all the things you will see here okay this batch course is starting from 8th of december okay and the next batch course that we are starting is starting from 2nd of december and this is for the chemistry of coordination compounds chemistry of transition metals okay so here we will discuss about the coordination chemistry all the subject we will discuss from the beginning okay so you will see all the type of questions from the peer previous year and from the good books also okay. hi students welcome in chemistry classes I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the test series of questions especially for the incoming January 2022's question paper. Okay, so we are preparing for it. So we will see here the concepts and the questions also. So see here, this question is from December 2019's question paper based on the quantum mechanics. Okay, here we have to find out the degeneracy in the case of 3D cubic box. The degeneracy of a state having energy, we have given the energy is 27 h square upon 8 ml square for a particle in 3D cubic box of length L. Okay. So, first thing we know that for the particle in 3D box, the energy is given by h square upon 8 ml square nx square plus ny square plus nz square. Okay. This is the formula I think all of you know about it and if you don't know you can see my lectures of quantum mechanics i have already made several lectures and especially about the particle in 3d and 1d box you can see that okay the links will be in the description box okay so this is the basic formula and we have given that the energy is 27 h square upon 8 ml square if you are comparing these two what thing you are getting that nx square plus ny square plus n z square okay these are the quantum numbers this is equal to 27 okay so just you have to put here the values and you have to see which are getting the 27 answer okay so if you are putting here 3 3 square plus 3 square plus 3 square okay so this will be equal to 9 plus 9 plus 9 okay so this will be equal to 27 okay so the one series of the quantum numbers may be 3 3 3 this is the one combination that can be another one combination with maybe that the two are having one number one quantum number one square plus one square and one is having the five so this will be equal to one plus one plus 25 it means 27 okay so this can also be so the combination may be 1, 1 and 5 and we can also change it. There may be another combination that may be 5, 1, 1 or it may be 1, 5, 1. Okay. So we can say there are four different states that are having the equal energy 27, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the degeneracy of this state is equal to 4. This will be our answer. Okay. Let's see the next question. All right. Now see this question from December 2019's question paper and this is for the hydrogen atomic orbital. This is again from the quantum mechanism. We have given this equation, okay? And I think you all know about this equation. N R square e to power minus R upon 3 A naught 3 cos theta square minus 1, okay? Now here this part is called the radial part, okay? And this part is called the angular part. Okay. For more details about this, you can watch my lectures. I have given the links in the description box. You can find out the wave function for the hydrogen atom. This type of video you will get. Okay. So in that lecture, I have already told you about this. There is a short take for finding out the number of N and L. 
okay if you want to find out the number of l then what you have to do you have to see this angular part okay and here you have to see the power of this cos theta the maximum power of the cos theta maximum power of cos theta will give you the value of l okay so now you can see here cos square theta it means the value of l will be equal to 2 and value of l equal to 2 means d orbital okay right now see the radial part for finding out the value of n you have to see this exponent of minus r upon 3 a naught that we have given actually this is minus r upon n a naught okay so if you are comparing you are finding out this n is equal to 3 okay this n value is 3 so our orbital that can be is 3d so see here option number 3 okay 3d orbital this is the right answer so in this way you have to do the questions based on the quantum mechanics if you want to find out many other lectures on the quantum mechanics or problems based video you can see my playlist of quantum mechanics meet you in the next videos with some more details thank you